90s and early 2000s, a Douglas County Sheriff's deputy and his canine helped take thousands of pounds of drugs off the streets. When he retired, he was just getting started. Lindsay is live in Springfield to explain. That's right. Well, I have Taz here. He is a Belgian Melanois and is about four years old. Four and a half. About four and a half, his handler says, and he is one of more than a dozen dogs that have been participating in this special training the past two days. I know you're just so good. You just want to give me an interview. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, with canine units from more than eight states, and this is coming from some of those descendants of that dog we were just talking about. Take a look. For Nika Taz and Rocco, fighting crime is in their Belgian Melanois bloodline. He knows a bite, and that's about it. Yeah. They're participating in a two day training with Code 2 K9. It's a business out of Omaha. From Douglas County to Texas, officers are getting a classroom and field maintenance training in detection. The human behind the four legged formula, retired Douglas County Sheriff's Deputy Ed Van Buren. Ed and his dog Rocky seized over four million dollars in drugs during his time with the DEA. He's like, boy, this is enticing, but it ain't what I'm trying yeah, to, I want to look, look for. for. So now Ed's training Rocky's pups and grandpups. Hey, good boy! It's not just the Belgian Melanois breed it's either. Ed's rescued dogs like Bosco and has trained the lab mix for drug detection. It makes me feel great. I mean, because he's a great, he's a great canine, he's a great dog. He gets along well with everybody. It could have been very different for him. As for Rocky, this is video from last year. The 14 year old is starting to slow down. He's no young pup. Ed says it's still too early to tell if that will mean great grand pups, but it's not a completely closed case. I look at Rocky now, and Rocky's he's old. He's, uh, he's probably not going to be with us real long. And uh, that reality, you know, is starting to set in. So it's like, you know what? Um, like I have one of his sons, I'm like, I'm keeping him. I love that resolve. I'm keeping him. So out here, back out here live, Bosco, one of the rescue dogs that you saw in that story, is actually the uh, first police canine unit in uh, Ickney, Iowa in 15 years. So, and he's been doing really well there. So um, we are here with uh, Brett, Bosco's partner, and then Ed, and uh, you guys are going to kind of just walk us through what a typical uh, training simulation is like when you are detecting for drugs. Correct. Yeah, we have uh, drugs hidden on this vehicle and also on a, uh, another vehicle over by the bus. And we hide them in various places to uh, get the dog to search, be comfortable searching low, high, and also in, in small areas, well wells, that sort of thing. Great. So let's see him do it. What, how do we know? Because I, I was going to say, I know you chatted with my, with my cameraman, but obviously Bosco doesn't know where it is. How do we know when he's detected You'll something? You'll see a change in his behavior. Like right now, he's doing a pretty methodical sniff. Stay over here okay. and come back this way. Um, you'll see a behavior change when he gets in the the odor. Go ahead and direct him underneath. See his behavior change as he's getting more and more intense. Mm -hmm. And then he should go into a passive indication, sit or lay. And a lot of the training that you there, guys were doing it's right under there. has to do with like crawling underneath stuff. So like we saw with yes. the semi today. Yes. And for, sorry, go ahead. Oh, for instance, a lot of dogs that have never been exposed to a find in an undercarriage of a vehicle and they're trained to sit when they find it, it they can't sit. Yeah. So they, they may go under there and pinpoint it, but they don't know how to, they get confused because they're like, well, I can't sit under here. So we have to train the dog to be able to deal with that and teach them it's okay to lay down underneath mm -hmm. or they can back out and sit. I'm telling you, you know, with everything I've seen you do over the past couple of years with with Rocky and then Rocky's pups and the grand pups and these rescues, I need to send my dog to you. You can, you can work a miracle. So coming up, we uh, have another check-in with uh, Code 2 K9 with some of the training that they've been doing here with PSI. And you're going to want to stay tuned for this. Uh, I'm putting on the full bite suit. We're going to mm -hmm. show some of the apprehension training. Uh, crossing my fingers and saying a couple of prayers. Just kidding. These dogs are very well trained, but stay tuned for that. We're out here live in Springfield. We'll send it back to you. All right, Lindsay, looking forward to that. Cool to see how the, the dog knows and can sniff it out. And how their demeanor changes like that. Yeah, Pretty incredible. It is.